Pelican Bay State Prison is located in northwestern California at Crescent City. Opened in 1989, Pelican Bay has two separate facilities. One side is for inmates classified as maximum security, or level four, but who can be housed in a general population setting. The classification is based on why they were sent to prison. The other half is a security housing unit, also known as SHU. Inmates are sent here because of their behavior once in prison. Most are here for assaulting or killing staff or other inmates. Some are here for prison gang activity. Because of their behavior in prison, these inmates are the most dangerous in the California Department of Corrections. They live in cells that are arranged eight to a unit or a pod. Inmate activity is monitored by a correctional officer who can open cell doors electronically. All inmates are searched periodically for weapons. All clothing, bedding, and personal effects are x-rayed for weapons and other contraband. Cell construction also is designed to curb assaults. Instead of metal frames, bed supports are molded into the wall. Toilets have no removable parts. This eliminates material that could be used to make weapons. Cell doors limit assaulted behavior without limiting staff's ability to see into a cell or an inmate's ability to see out of his cell. Even so, some inmates find ways to hurt staff or each other. Here, an inmate shows how he constructed a sophisticated crossbow-type weapon from materials the state is required to give him. Elastic from underwear, a barrel and darts from writing paper rolled tightly, a plastic spoon sharpened as a lethal point. The weapon is engineered to fit through the door, making staff or other inmates a target. Most inmates are brought to the security housing unit for a specified length of time. They are reviewed every 120 days or more often if there are indications of any problems. The security housing unit has its own medical and dental facilities to treat inmates. In addition, inmates have access to a legal library and the ability to discuss issues with other inmates. Because of the high risk these inmates pose, they are escorted by staff wherever they go in the prison, except for showers and the exercise yard. A control booth officer opens an inmate cell to allow him to go to the shower or to an adjacent exercise yard. The officer is able to monitor the inmates by closed circuit television. Most of an inmate's time in the security housing unit will be spent in his cell. There are reading materials, Many have fashioned games like chess that they can play with other inmates in the pod. There is also television. Six channels are available, including one Spanish language program channel. Inmates also eat in their cells in the security housing unit. Meal preparation is in the central kitchen on the general housing side of the prison. Today, it's pasta for 4,000 that's being prepared, several hundred pounds of meat, gallons of sauce and miles of spaghetti. While the sauce and meat simmer, other cooks are working on hot dinner roll, cookies and cakes and other pastries. Inmates are provided three well-balanced meals a day. For those in the security housing unit, individual meals are packed in thermal trays, loaded on insulated carts and delivered to their cells by correctional officers. Since the unit opened in 1989, placing CDC's most dangerous inmates here has stabilized the rest of the system. Prison gang activity has been reduced, including drug dealing and gang-related attacks, even contract killings in and out of prison. Assault rates at other prisons in California have dropped dramatically, increasing the safety for staff and inmates alike within the California prison system. Go ahead, step back. Step back.